Well, in Hamas's charter, what does it say? I'm not defending Hamas. How is, any, how, well, hold on a second. Right. You're, you're defending the Palestinian Authority, which is partners with Hamas, and they duly elected oh, no, them. No, no, no. How not is, how is Hamas's charter any different than Nazi Germany's charter towards the Jews? I'm not defending any of that. And for one, so it's, what, what are you defending? Hold on. Exactly. For one, I'm defending the right of Palestine to exist, which I want to clarify. I am not telling you that you're being Islamophobic by supporting Israel. I'm not telling you that you want to kill the Muslims. So trying to say that. The existence no, no, of Palestine here's a fact. Let me tell you, let me tell you, I think this last ridiculous. weekend displayed the holes in your argument. When Jews go for their high holy day, Arabs come in and kill Jews. When Arabs want to have peace, the Jews will come to the table for a peace agreement. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back here on the new video. Today, we're going to check it out. Charlie Keck decimates pro Hamas students. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Uh, I'll love to check this video out with you guys. Let's get right into it. I'm a proud member of the Young Democratic Socialists of America on campus. Um, I'm expecting booze from that. I don't mind. No, you're, um, you're around conservatives, so. Also, for the record, um, not that it matters, but if I were to host an event on campus, I'd be more than happy to have people disagree with me to come first. Unfortunately, I do not get to host events. I wish. Uh, first off, I wanted to just make a, a small factual correction to something that you said, uh, which is about the 130 uh, migrants on the terror list that have crossed the border. Um, the actual number is 160, and those were numbers that had been stopped at the border, meaning they were prevented from entering, uh, which means that these people were stopped during the Biden administration. Right. So you're not exactly strengthening your argument. Um, it's actually higher. Thank you. And so how many gotaways have there been at the border this year? Say that again, sorry. Got, gotaways, people that weren't tracked that we don't know that came into the interior. Uh, unfortunately, that's kind of hard to track, as you said. Uh, however, that's actually, I just wanted to. Yeah, it's about 500,000 minimum. Wow, okay. Yeah, I just wanted wow. to give you that number, though, just so that you're aware. But um, that's actually not my question, my, or my point, I guess. My point was about uh, Palestine. Um, you what? mentioned what, what country Palestine. Is that? Oh, okay, where is that? In the Middle East. Wait, is it in Judea and Samaria? I'm sorry, say that again. I can't hear you. What, well. what, what country are you talking about? Palestine. It exists? Yes. Oh. In fact, it existed before the current Israel. Oh, really? Yes. According to who? Uh, according to history books. Oh, okay. So wait, you mean Judea and Samaria, the rightful homeland of the Jews that they call the West Bank and they're currently occupying? If you're going by religion, sure. I personally don't go by religion. Oh, what do you, what do you go by then? What, where the Arabs want to occupy? Logic. Oh, really? History. So whose is Gaza? Uh, Gaza is a location i'm sorry i'm getting a call and i don't want that to interfere in the mic uh gaza's location within palestine but i'd like to go on to my point if you will um currently israel is actually being labeled by international human rights organizations such as amnesty international as an apartheid state because they are attacking many people from within palestine and they have been actually the land has been stolen from palestine not to say that the people in uh, israel do not deserve their own land. I am, personally, I am a believer in a two-state solution. I want to make that clear. And I also want to make clear that I do not agree with the uh, recent incidents because there is no excuse for harming civilians. However, I do want to make you're morally point. clear on that. Good. Thank you. Uh, I do want to make clear that also um, Israel has captured more than 228 Palestinian children in which they held in containment. And of these, 86% uh, were beaten. Oh, and these were, by the way, the, the 220 is only those that were able to be surveyed, so they were recovered. Um, the 86% of those were beaten in detention, 69% were strip searched, and 42% were injured at the point of arrest. Uh, additionally, I would like to add, due to your claim about dictators, that Benjamin Netanyahu has been in power since 2009, and he also held in power since not, from 1996 to 1999. Um, so that, you could argue that There's being, actually a moment when he wasn't prime minister. That's, Na, that's Naftali, why I said uh, Naftali uh, as Bennett well as was that. actually, and he's duly elected. When was the last time Abbas won an election? Say that again? When was the last time Mahmoud Abbas won an election? That I do currently not have. Yeah, eight years. They don't hold elections because they're under a dictatorship. I, I'm just curious because I want to try to find some clarity more than agreement because we're, we're not going to find agreement. Um, if Israel stopped fighting, what would happen? If they laid down all their guns tomorrow, what would happen? I Personally, I can't say I'm not in charge of any of the leadership. Yes, yeah, so all the Jews would be killed. 
if Hamas it's laid not down about Judaism, though. if if Israel's actually the ones that have taken Palestine's land. OK, and are again, killing people I'm just I'm Palestine. trying to find some moral clarity. If Hamas laid down all of their weapons, what would we have? There would be no more Palestine. Peace is what we would have. No, that's we would have peace. Excuse my language, but that's bullshit. And you OK, know so let, let me ask this. Why did Israel give Gaza back to the Arab Muslims for peace? Why did they then give the Sinai to Egypt Gaza? for why peace? Did they throw mu- missiles over there. No, hold on a second. Why did they give Why did they give the Sinai to Egypt for peace? Why did they give the Gaza Gaza Strip to the Palestinian Authority for peace? In Hamas's charter, what does it say? I'm not defending Hamas. How is any how, Well, hold on a second. Right. You're You're defending the Palestinian Authority, which is partners with Hamas, and they duly elected oh, no, them. No, no, no. How not is How that is either. Hamas's charter any different than Nazi Germany's charter towards the Jews? I'm not defending any of that. And for one, so it's, what What are you defending? Hold on. Exactly. For one, I'm defending the right of Palestine to exist. Which I want to clarify, I am not telling you that you're being Islamophobic by supporting Israel. I'm not telling you that you want to kill the Muslims. So trying to say that the existence no, no, of Palestine here's a fact. Let me is tell you. Let me tell you. I think this last ridiculous. weekend displayed the holes in your argument. When Jews go for their high holy day, Arabs come in and kill Jews. Hmm. When Arabs want to have peace, the Jews will come to the table for a peace agreement. Abraham Accords, the Oslo Accords. Any time that the Arabs want to talk, the Jews will come to the table to talk in the pursuit of peace. Meanwhile, this weekend, and a slight vulnerability, what happened? Jews are celebrating the end of Yom Kippur, the reading of the Torah, and they come in and they kill 900 Jews. And answer me this. If this was an isolated incident, why were they greeted as heroes by the people of Gaza after they killed 900 women and children. I want to make this clear once more because you seem to not be understanding. I am not defending these actions. I am simply refuting the claims that you made earlier in this argument. Here's the thing. I I think a two-state solution sounds great if you don't actually live in reality. Let me tell you what reality is. The Arabs don't want to govern their own people. They would rather hate Jews. Every day they're saying death to the Jews, kill the Jews. They do not want to govern their own people. There is no middle ground when they have, they're, they're screaming to the sky for Antifada. Israel has been at the table time and time again. Do you agree? Abraham Accords, trying to find peace, trying to sit down with Mahmoud Abbas. The Israelites have hundreds yes, of Palestinian children in detention. They have sent missiles to Palestine and killed hundreds of civilians. After this event, Netanyahu declared that he will send missiles to Palestine in an area where the Palestinian civilians are not able to leave. Wait, hold on a second. Hold on a second. You you mean the Gaza? Yes. Right, where they actually gave warnings to apartment buildings. What kind of – is it so bad that they tell people to to leave before they bomb them? Hamas comes on a holy day in the kibbutzes and cuts women's heads off. At concerts, the moral equivalent is so different. And let me just ask you, what do you think is a bigger impediment to peace, Hamas or Israel? Uh, if you would like, I'd prefer if you could stop interrupting me. Um, well, I'm the speaker, you're not. So let me just like be, remind you, like you're a college kid, you see, you came to our event. So let, let me just ask you a very clear question. Bigger impediment to peace, Palestinian Authority or Israel? Israel. Prove it. Israel. Tell, tell me one situation where Israel has not come to the table. Israel has given up land. When was the last time the Palestinian Authority willingly gave up land for peace? Israel's bombing never, the land because they, they don't up. want peace. They want dead Jews. And we as Americans should never put up with the intentional extermination of Jews again in our country. Thanks for being here. Thank Israel. you. Thank you. We're going to the Do next not question. Argue that when you have these debates We're going to the next so question. Thank you. Race. Thank so you. Why is it about it there? We're going to take the next question. Thank you. Thank you. That is closeted Jew hatred laundered through Arab talking points. So residents right here, number one, his point of the view is kind of like hurtful. He's only seeing the good in Palestine and seeing the bad in Israel. The both parts are at fault. Let's put it that way. Israel killed Palestine, Palestine killed Israel. They are both shedding blood. And which should stop? What we should talk about is what should, what is going to result to peace. What are we going to do to result to peace? The Palestine are uh, let me don't say the entire Palestine, let me say Hamas. Hamas in because they're a group organization who, who reside in Gaza. So those people are really, really dangerous. They are they call them terrorist organization. 
So if you know that those such people are very dangerous and they're terrorists, and you keep on supporting them, after they have killed 900 or something people during the feast, what do you, th- what do you, what do you make of yourself to be? That means you are dangerous to be around with. So Charlie Kirk right there is, is really pissed because the students, the college students is not actually seeing the clearer picture of what kind of results to peace. His own point of the view is Israel are, are killing, uh, have abducted women and children and they're killing them. But he's not talking about what Palestine are doing to Israel back. So he's, he's being one-sided. So that Charlie Kirk is saying to him, you, sh- you should not be thinking that way. I know what you're talking about. You are being one-sided. No. What Palestine are doing to Israel back is terrible. So what can we do to resolve peace is by Palestine choosing to come in conclusion that, okay, let's settle this. Let's come to peace. Let's reunite. Let's talk about a way to move forward to stop the bloodshed, which we all know might not happen. Palestine can't come, can't come that way and tell them that, we want peace. It's it's really happened. What Charlie Kick is trying to tell the, the students is like, don't judge by one angle. See both parties. He's being biased. Let me put it. This college student is being biased. So Charlie Kick does this man to him and tell him the truth. So saying what is happening within Palestine and Israel is really serious serious war because lives are being killed and that matters. So we should come to conclusion what is going to bring the peace, not which side is at fault or which side is at right. I love the entire video. I love how Chai Kick decimates this college student who is one-sided and he puts him straight, puts this fat straight in him and tell him, you are, you are being biased. You can't choose one side and leave the other side and say Israel is at fault, whereas Palestine is a saint. No, Palestine, people who are Hamas as living Gaza came to kill 900 and something people. Israel, before they threw in the strike, they give warning. You guys should leave this site. I remember it in the news when the Israel told <laughs> Palestine they evacuate from the building. They are going to strike. I saw it in the news. I think after a few hours, the incidents happened. They strike at that building in particular. So they give warning before they strike. Then an, then an organization, Hamas, coming into a feast, a serious feast for Israel. They take, it, they take that um, ceremony very, very serious. I killed over 900 or something people. Which side are you going to choose? Just look at the clear picture, guys. Comment down below think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. We should see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I, I just bought a bag. Like an old lady. I'm back wood smoking. I don't know papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku, bitch. In my bed, I got scales all